Hey everybody, this is Josh. Welcome to another video. This time we're looking at some music production software. It's been a while since I've done a video on uh, music stuff, so I wanted to check out Studio One Free. Now this is uh, made by Personas, and Personas has been known uh, for a lot of their like digital mixing consoles, a lot of their hardware stuff. They've got some really great software with Studio One. Uh, along with Capture and a couple other other uh, software that they use all, alongside their uh, mixing desks and audio interfaces. Uh, you probably have seen some of my videos on Moolab or Energy XT or Reaper. Now, I want to clarify something about those pieces of software. None of those are free. They've got um, a free version of Moolab, which is limited to four tracks. If you go over four tracks, it puts in a soft noise that continues to play throughout the entire thing, and it is rendered when you render the song. Not cool. Um, I still like Moolab. I use it a lot. Same with Energy XT. Uh, they have a demo version that you can try out with a very limited uh, number of features and abilities to export things. So, yeah, and Wells Reaper. Now, all of these are great. Uh, great and affordable pieces of software for digital recording and mixing. Um, but I just wanted to point out that this is a completely free DAW uh, all the way. Now, what you get is definitely limited than their full-blown um, pro version or ultimate version. But I wanted to show you in this video what you do get. This might end up being a little bit longer video, but that's how it goes when you're doing stuff from scratch. Okay, let's get into it. Studio One Free. I've got a blank song opened up here, and I just want to show you what you get with, uh, with Studio One. Now, when you open a song for the first time, this is what you're presented with. You've got instruments, effects, sounds, files, and pool, which are this, the files that are being used in the song. This comes, the free version comes with one instrument, but it's a really powerful instrument. It's called Presence, and it's a sampler synthesizer uh, combination. And it's really great. It also plays sound font uh, files, so you can effectively create your own stuff and, and really have endless number of sounds and patches with w this one instrument. So Studio One Free does not uh, let you use your third-party VSTs or audio units effects within the software. You're going to have to upgrade to the artist version or the pro version to have those features. What it does have is unlimited audio track recording um, and unlimited MIDI tracks using, using the built-in both uh, instruments and effects with the Studio One Free. So I, I just want to show you some of the capabilities of just the free stuff, just the built-in stuff to get you started. And I think that this might be the solution for you. If you're the person that just wants to record a few tracks, maybe it's guitar, sing on top of it, maybe play around with some MIDI sequencing. Maybe you don't have a drum kit or uh, the ability to record a full drum kit. This has got you covered with great built-in drum kits, and that's where Presence comes in. So we're going to start with that. I'm going to drop this drum kits. These are all patches within this one instrument called Presence. Let's, uh, I'm going to pick a hip-hop kit here, drag it right over. This is a drag-and-drop environment. Great. I love it. And it automatically pops up the, the UI, the interface for Presence. We can play it right here on the keyboard and you can hear we've got drums. And they're quite good drums at that. Presence also has uh, an effects page with all these built-in effects. This is not like your insert effects or you know that kind of post-processing. This is all built in to the Presence instrument itself, which is amazing. So you've got your reverb, your delay, your gate, your pan, your EQ, your distortion, and your modulation. Okay, so we can um, we can also 
um, when we're on the as far as effects, we can mix in the amount of effects, the uh, uh, the, eff the effect level on the effects mix, and then the gain is the gain for the entire instrument. Okay, so as we can hear, this uh, this kit has just a, a touch of reverb on it, and we can back that off here, or we can. Make it even more. See that? So the effects are great. For right now, I'm just going to turn it off because I'm going to add uh, reverb through Ascend, and I'll show you how to do that as well. So this is just a um, the stock hip hop kit that uh, comes with Studio One Free. Now, one of the things I really like about Studio One is the is the interface. It's a really professional looking, um, nice on the eyes, well designed interface that is also very logically laid out and very quick to to navigate um, with just a little bit of time spent on getting used to it. There's some quick command keys on a, I'm on a Mac, so it's Command and one, two, and three. Command one is and the clip editor, command two is the mixer, command three is show and hide the browser. And these are all toggles. So command two, command two shows and hides the mixer. And so in one in one window interface, I don't have to have a separate window floating around here. I can get around this thing like butter. All right, let's make something so that we can not just blather on. I'm just going to double click to create a MIDI clip. Really quick, really intuitive, and then I can double click that to open up the clip editor. That's command one. Command one, command one. Okay. And I'm going to scroll down here to the kick. That's the one I want. And I can hold command to get the pencil tool and click, or I can double click to insert a note. And I'm going to create a really simple pattern. I'm also going to change my tempo right down here, something like 98, and I can just start playing. Now I can go right up here until I see this little uh, double arrow icon and select my loop points, and then right down here I can turn my loop on, which is also the, um, the stroke key. Or backstroke. So you can see how easy it is to get a pattern going using MIDI. The MIDI is actually a really great, I've used lots of different software before, as you've seen on my channel. And I really like this uh, MIDI editing. Um, some of them I don't like, I just, you know, they, they, they seem a little finicky, then just not quite right, and I really like this one. So I've got my velocity right down here. I can also look at modulation, pitch bend, aftertouch, all of those things and tons and tons more. Um, but that's what I want to I want to do with this, just a very very simple kick and clap. And I'm just going to leave that on one channel cuz I'm going to put some uh, some hi-hats and some maybe other instruments on a different channel. Okay. So I can close that for now. Sounds great. Command 3, I'm going to bring in my browser again. This time I'm going to use Percussive Kit 1. I'm going to drag that over. Got lots of sounds in there. And we're going to use this for 
my hi-hats and maybe some other things. So I just double click to create a clip, double click again to open the clip editor. Okay, very cool. Got a nice pattern there. Something really neat, and I really like this. Uh, I can Command A, select everything, go to Actions, and just say Humanize. And, and look at this. It just it it offsets things just ever so slightly. And it, as well as you can see here, it changes the velocities just with one little command. Got a little bit more groove going. I can do that more, humanize, get hit humanize again. Um, so it's very, very easy to create something that's just not quite so static and digital sounding uh, with, just a, with just a few clicks. All right, we got that. Run those together. Let's bring up the mixer because I, 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 want, I want all of those percussive elements to be lower than the kick and the clap. So in the mixer, we can look at a ton of stuff. Uh, I'm actually going to turn off the instruments and the banks so we can just see our channels. Okay. And here is presence one, which is kick in the clap, which I'm actually going to rename it right here. I'm going to call it kick and clap. And then this one I'm going to call perk for percussion. All right, and then I can just use the scroll wheel and pull this down just a few decibels. It shows me the decibel level right here. And it doesn't take much. This is very responsive. Okay, I've got a nice little beat there that I could I could start recording to. Now, let's let's use some. Um, pre-existing material here. I've got lots of loops and samples and stuff in here. I'm going to use some of my own. I'm going to go into my folder here. Drum loops. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Loops. Here we go. And uh, let's use this, this one right here. It's going to add a lot of texture, but I wanted to show you what the time stretching does in this. So I'm going to drag and drop it again, just drag and drop. And then I can um, I can hold the Option key or Alt, and you see I get that little clock icon, and that's going to be my time stretching. So I can stretch it to the snap to the grid. And I know it's going to be too loud, so I can turn it down right here. You see how these are a little bit different since this is an audio track and then these are instrument tracks. Okay, now I don't like having the kicks in this loop along with my kicks, so let's use an effect. We're going to go to the insert effect and you just use the channel strip. The channel strip is amazing. The channel strip is very powerful. It's kind of like uh, three or four um, effects all in one. Starts with a, a low cut. So I can just turn on the low cut. You see that it, it's set at 40 hertz right now. And I can bump that up because I want to get rid of more than just 40 hertz range. I want to get rid of quite a bit of this stuff until I can't hear the kick anymore. And then I can also get rid of quite a bit of the snares. Just 
just like that. All right, I also have a compressor here. Uh, this is all. This is already compressed the heck to death, so I'm not going to use the compressor. I'm actually going to use the expander. That's going to put a little bit more dynamics back in, or life back in. So here's bypassed. Here's with it back on. So I've got a, a, a low cut, which is part of the EQ, compressor, expander, and then I'm, I can tweak all my EQ right over here. I've got an uh, auto makeup gain and uh, you know gain trim, so I can pull that back maybe a little bit if I've added more EQ or compression. So that should blend a little bit better now with my, my other drum tracks. Let's go back to presence again and grab another sound, a different sound, maybe a, a, a bass sound. Uh, let's just try one of these. I can always change it later. I can change it right up here too as well. So maybe something, I want something a little bit more gritty. Just great sounds. How about the Moog? It's all right. Let's see what we can come up with. something going on there. I can open up the instrument to also play around with some stuff maybe. Cut off. I want to make this monophonic. Let's add some uh, distortion here. And then we're going to turn it down a little bit. So you can also open up the uh, the uh, instrument interface right from the uh, the mixer, which is really nice. Let's add a gate here. Let's play it back so we can hear what we're doing. I'm gonna put the gate on. That's a little too strong, so I can just use the depth here to pull it back, and we'll get kind of a pumping effect.
you can see just can keep building up here. So let's grab another sample. From samples, let's grab a, a crash or a ride. Or I want something like that. <laughs> That'll work. Drag and drop that right in. And uh, we can double click in here and just make sure this has a nice little fade out right there. And actually make it a little bit shorter just so it's not held out so long and has a nice fade. There we go. Pull that down. Now I want to copy these down. I can just uh, select as much as I want, hit D, and that duplicates it out. I want to go right out to four measures. I'm going to adjust my loop points. Now I've got this nice ride that kicks everything off, loops around, and hits it again. Cool. I said I would show you how to set up a, um, an effects return. We can do that. Let me rename this. I'm going to rename this Ride. And it also renames it up here in the in the track. Uh, this is bass. We'll do that. Now it doesn't rename the instrument, so you can um, dance bass is fine. Okay, so we can right click here in the mixer and, and say add effects channel. And I'm gonna bring it all the way to this side. And we can put it insert on this, and I'm gonna use a reverb. In this case, we have the mix verb. Again, this is all the built-in stuff. And I'm going to choose a big hall. Okay, I want a big reverb. Um, I want to have uh, the um, ba -ba 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 -ba. yes, the mix is 100%. So it's all all the way wet and <clears throat> we could mix that out and we would have dry signal coming through but I want it all the way wet that's good and now what we can do is let's give this um, ride some of that reverb and these these little arrows here pop out their inserts and sends or we could look at the large mixer and see of them that way above it sort of like uh, a classic channel strip. So let's do that. Uh, we'll hit the send and go to, let's rename this first. This is my verb or reverb. I'm going to do it in all caps so I know what that is and I'm going to color it actually. I can just click on the color here. I'm going to color it orange. So let's send that to reverb. Okay, and this is our effect amount. So I'm going to back that off. I'm going to solo this and then just like hear it back. All right, so you see how we've got both of those going. Uh, on the uh, on the reverb, I'm also going to add or take out rather some some damping. Great. Okay, let's hear that with this acoustic loop.
Okay, we'll put the send on, reverb. Bring that back quite a bit. Okay, so you see how those are sharing the same uh, send effect, the same reverb in this case. And I'm just gonna leave up this, uh, this larger mixer um, because like I said, it's really easy just to go back and forth. Command two goes back my range, just like that. All right, we can go down here and just say unsolo all. sure that's starting on time. See that just a little bit off there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit N, which turns off the snap. I'm going to line this right up to where I want it to start. That's better. See how you can adjust the audio like that? It's really great. Let's put this here too. I can grab it, hit D, and then move it over. Alright, now let's hear this without the, the busy loop going on, because this will probably be uh, like the, the hook or the chorus part of it where everything's hidden. Cool. Back to the mixer. Alrighty. can group tracks. Did you see that? So those are now grouped and if I turn them up or down it will turn them up and down uh, in relationship to one another. I'm going to dissolve group but that's really neat. We can do that. We can add more um, effects channels here if we want. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the master right here uh, an insert and I'm gonna use just the channel strip. Again, the pro version comes with tons and tons and tons of more stuff. But uh, what you get for a free forever program is phenomenal. So um, this is just the master channel. So I'm just going to add some fast compression on here, basically like a limiter. And um, it'd be about 10%, maybe not even that much, just a tickle. And uh, if I wanted to here, as well, I can uh, maybe give it a little life, but this would be something that I would do sort of at the mastering stage. But I want to just put in the, a little compressor to uh, to help my audio levels sound a bit more full. If I turn that auto on, the more compression I give it, uh, the gain um, dial actually kind of disappears because it's just going to automatically up the gain in relationship to the amount I'm compressing it. See that? 
one little plugin can do so much. Um, I love it. Um, we'll call it quits for this video and uh, pick it up next time. But I uh, hopefully was able to show you uh, how you can really quickly get started. We used some of our own samples. We created some new uh, MIDI sequences and together have have kind of created the beginning of a of a something a sort of songwriters uh, sketch pad here I can hear somebody rapping over this or whatever now all of these uh, MIDI instruments could all be converted to audio whenever I want and uh, can continue just stacking up stuff but like I said we've only used the one instrument that comes with the free version to do all of this along with some pre-existing material which was just a one loop and a, a ride sample so I'm sure um, if you've been doing music production or are wanting to get into it grab some samples uh, you can create your own samples that's what I've done just one shots are great because you can do this little thing like with the ride or you could use that ride and create a pattern so like somebody's hitting that ride and chop it up do whatever you want with it so having those sort of little building blocks are really going to help you take a piece of software like this a long way i mean to, to doing really great full sounding mixes thanks guys for watching i hope to see you in the next video on studio one <laughs>